Well, the best place to start is the beginning. And the beginning, we're going to bring on uh, Adriel all the way from Long Beach. Well, that's not that far away from you, Red, but it's far away from me. So, uh, Adriel, how you doing? You there? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm hanging in there. I'm doing all right. Um, it's good to see you again. Uh, we were b before the broadcast started. We were mentioning how um, we met each other the first time. Um, gosh, it's been almost a year ago, maybe more than a year ago, when uh, Red's Room for the first time did a live event in front of an audience uh, over at Holland Davis's uh, Calvary Chapel Church. So it's great to see you again. And um, you got some new tunes to share, I trust. Um, I think new, maybe new to some people, <laughs> but, um, well, if it's new to me, that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And thank you. Thank you for hosting as well. Um, it's really good to be back. I know it's, it's been a while since I've been on here, so, um, I'm really excited. Yeah, very good. Well, I'm going to get out of the way and let you, uh, uh, jump in if you want. Alrighty. So this first song, it's called A Hughes, and I originally wrote it uh, based off of a poem, um, but it's essentially, like, the, the, the hook is, your hues bring color back to my black and white mind. So it's, it's about how God brings light back to our mind. Um, he highlights things. He um, brings life back, um, brings color back. So... Um, so that, this is that song. Rolling up my pant legs, waiting inside colorless. Days are growing darker, but your word is a lamp until my feet change move steady, always bring when seasons change, I stay the same. When all gets dark, you're bringing light because your hues bring color back. 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 Death cycle ending, pruning back a silver knife. Always seem to kill the things that hold me back from taking flight. Because your hues bring color back 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 Your hues bring color back. 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 Because your hues bring color back. 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 Thank you. Now, just in a nutshell, what, what, how did, what was the process by which you got inspired and, and that song came to be? 
Um, well, the poem, so I, re I read through the poem, there's lots of imagery in the poem, and one of the lines was rolling up my pant legs waiting inside colorless. And so I, I kind of took that line and then I just kind of went from, from that, but overall I was, I was thinking about the idea of the poem and what the poem was saying, but then how could I say the opposite? And so I just, I don't know, that hook line just came to me and I kind of based everything off of it. So it was kind of my process. Very cool. Yeah, everyone's got a little bit different process. It's interesting to hear how they are. All right, good deal. Well, I'm going to let you uh, carry on here. You got more to share with us. And uh, I people rather hear that than me blathering. So go for it. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so this next song is called Tornadoes. And it's based on, off of Job 38. Um, a lot of it is word for word, Job 38. If you've never read uh, that chapter before, I definitely recommend reading it. Um, when I was reading it one day, I was thinking just how it describes how big God is. And like, you know, we have, s s like he can do anything. Like we shouldn't be worrying about anything in our lives because, you know, this, the, our problems are minor to what he can do. So um, that's what this song is, is about. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding who determined its measure and surely you know who set the upon it on which were its bases sunk and who laid its cornerstone morning stars sang together shouting for joy Darkness is swaddling then 
prescribing limits for it. I set the bars and doors and said, This is as far as you should come. Hear your proud wave stay. Have you commanded warning since your days begin? Causing the dawn to know its place. I see uh, other of the musicians who are uh, waiting in the wings are applauding too, although I know sometimes they forget to unmute, but they're still doing a, a wonderful music. Thanks, and everybody. I, I like that um, kind of the electronica influence you've got there. Now, that's, that's kind of an old school thing, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm really influenced by like a lot of 80s music, so I always, I've always just been drawn to that when writing, <laughs> just like those sounds, you know? Yeah. Yeah, um, I think we were talking before uh, the program started. You know, I, I'm I was a big lover of electronic music and and synthesis and stuff like that. And I'm, it was mentioning about the synthesizer that's out of the camera's view here here in the room with me. But um, the interesting thing is, you know, when I'm playing with the Christian blues band like Crimson Blues, there's not really any opportunity to put a synthesizer and, and electronic uh, pads in there. But, uh, you know, I get a chance to do it when I'm doing like my solo stuff that's like more acoustic and things like that. But I, I'm, I really love hear, hearing people putting that kind of thing to use. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. You got more? Yeah. Um, this next song, it's called Wasteland. And some of you might have heard it. I've played it here before. And um, it's based off of Isaiah 4319, how... Um, he makes a way in the desert uh, and streams in the wasteland. And so um, that's what this song is about. Rise up, rise up, I'm calling, can you hear me now? These pathways take a look cause they are changing. She am doing something very different now. Doing a new thing, this is a new thing. Rise up, rise up, I'm calling, can you hear me now? These pathways take a look as they are changing. See, I'm doing something very different now. Doing a new thing, this is a new thing. Ways in this wilderness, streams in this wasteland. Follow me out of this, follow me out of this. Follow me. are higher than mine I count it all as a loss Your ways are higher than mine I leave it all at the cross Your ways are higher than mine I count it all as a loss Your ways are higher than mine Up, I'm calling, can you hear me now? 
These pathways take a look Cause they are changing See I'm doing something very different now I'm doing a new thing This is a new thing Where's in This wilderness Streams in This wasteland Follow me out of this Follow Rise up and call can you hear me now? Rise up, rise up and call and can you hear me now? Rise up, rise up and call and can you hear me now? Rise up, rise up and call and can you hear me now? Wonderful, wonderful. Um, in the chat, uh, Vanessa is going to be on later. She comments and says, love your sound, Adriel. So, Thank you, Vanessa. So, yeah, I, I'm loving it, too. Now, um, t tell us a little bit about some of the venues, the types of venues that you play at and why you play there. Because, um, you know, that, that was something that was near and dear to our heart in our band, too. Yeah. Um, well, before COVID, I had been playing out a lot of like rehab uh, centers and I played at the LA jail um, and some uh, women's uh, shelters and things like that. Um, Teen Challenge. Um, and I don't know, that, that's been on my heart. It's, it's always been on my heart. Um, my brother, he had a heroin addiction when we were younger. And so um, I just, I've always just felt like just drawn to ministering to those um, those crowds and um, yeah, just um, something that it's always been on my heart. So yeah, I play. We play at other venues. We actually, um, I have a band now. So I used to just play solo, but we're gonna start playing out pretty soon. And so we're always gonna be looking for new places to play and uh, stuff like that. So yeah. That was cool, and uh, I believe in your band. Um, you, you've got a band member who's uh, who I'm fam who's familiar with me. Am I right? Oh yeah, Brad Marsh. Yes, the greatest uh, guitar slinger in in uh, South of California. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. He was the original founding member in uh, in, in my own band, Crimson Blues, um, over ten years ago. And we lost him because of his employment required him to go down south. So our loss year gain. I'm I'm glad he's playing with you too. Yeah, it's been really. No, fun. Now, did you have what? what yeah, yeah. No, no. Go ahead. No, I was just saying it's been pre pretty fun. It's been really fun playing with a band, and um, it's just like a lot more energy. So that's that's always a good thing. Yeah. And, and you've probably found that he's very flexible like he'll pick up the groove and feeling of your song and then kind of mesh into that oh yeah totally yeah that, that's been that's been really fun yeah oh that's wonderful i'm looking forward to hearing uh, some of that now in the meantime though you had one more song to do am i right yeah i do um it's actually it's a worship song it's uh the song it's called waymaker 
and this was actually a request, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and this will be my last song. So um, if you guys know the words, feel free to worship uh, with me. stop working you never stop you never stop working even when I can't see it you're working even when I can't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working wing maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my God that is who you are you are Wing maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 That is who you are, that is who you are. Wow. Lovely. Really lovely. Um, several people commenting that they they really love that you chose that song and they love the rendition of the song. Um, liking the fact awesome. that every artist kind of takes a different spin and take on the song so that was wonderful cool it's awesome so <laughs> well, real, before, before we move on Adriel, um real quick a little bit of information about how people can get your music and you um according to your bio you've got at least one album done now you, do you have more than one um i well i do but it's not online um, I think I have just one album online and then I have several singles. So I've just okay, released a yeah. bunch of singles in the last several years. So, yeah. Yeah. Everybody's doing singles instead of albums now. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's so. So how can we find any or all of that? 
Yeah, um, so my website, it's adriel.com. Uh, it's spelled A-D-R-Y-E-L-L-E dot com. Um, and all the links are there, like all of my like Spotify, like I'm on Spotify, um, YouTube, all that stuff. So um, yeah, any streaming oh, cool. site, just search, search me. That sounds wonderful. All righty. So um, beautiful work tonight. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Adriel, um, uh, give her some virtual love and appreciation. Thank you There's for There's already having... been some of that in the comments. Just keep it coming, y'all. Thanks again, Adriel. Thanks for having so, me.